What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to export a frame from Resolve 16. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name's Josh Haynes. I bring out weekly videos and tutorials helping you guys grow as creators. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button and tag along. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to export a frame from Resolve 16. A lot of you guys have asked and wondered, how do I get these really good stills from videos I've done for my thumbnails, for things like that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's jump inside Resolve 16 and we'll go from there. So the first thing I recommend is finish your video. Have everything done with it, your color grade, your visual effects, whatever you're gonna do, have that done and ready because we're gonna export this out. We want all that goodness inside that image. The still I'm pulling is from a tutorial I did not too long ago. If you want to check that out, link above, go check it out. It's how to make your eye look real creepy, zombie, dead, whatever you wanna do. Go check that video out, it's a really good one. So what we're gonna do is inside the edit tab right here, we're gonna hop over to the color tab. I'm gonna use this and kinda of move around and find the nice image I like. I think that's pretty good right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually hover right over this main one. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to grab still. And if you do not see this part right here, make sure your gallery is selected. Sometimes your LUTs will be selected. Just go over here to the top left and hit gallery. And you're gonna bring up a gallery right here that's gonna be a still from the video you just pulled. We're gonna right click on that. We're gonna go down to not export, but export with display LUT. We're gonna click that. We are going to change this to a JPEG or if anything else you would like. I just do JPEG because the size is gonna be so small anyways on a thumbnail. We're gonna hit JPEG. We're gonna title this. We'll just put I thumbnail one and export it. The main thing is make sure you know where you're saving that to, otherwise you're gonna have to do this all over again, then you're just gonna have a floating image somewhere inside your computer and you'll find it later and go, I have no clue what I was doing that for. After that's done, you can locate where you have that, you can open it up, and now you'll have a really high still that you can edit and mess with later. This works really handy if you're doing thumbnails for YouTube videos, if you're maybe editing a project for someone or you're coloring a project for someone and you need to export stills out to send to a client, maybe Maybe to your team to collaborate with. This is how I would go about doing it. It's keeping it way more organized. Everything's put together. It's higher images. So when they look at it on the phone or the computer, it's not real mushy and just looking bad. But that's all I got for you guys today. Just a quick one to help you guys out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Some new videos you want to see coming out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. Iron Giant, I'm out.